So start off by drawing the shape of the strawberry. I'm directly drawing it with the color that I chose, obviously red color, and I'm using soft airbrush. And if you guys want me to share the color palette that I use to make this strawberry, then I can link it down in the description so that you can directly download the palette from there, the palette, the color swatches. And guys, also you can follow me along through this whole tutorial so gather your stuff get your ipad get your apple pencil and start drawing the strawberry Now you can use any reference picture of a strawberry to make the shape of it and or either you just you can just you know follow what I'm doing here in the video and draw the exact same shape. So the first step you don't really have to worry about the perfection of the shape because we need a base to work on. Now what I'm doing here is I am taking a lighter version of the color that I put in initially and I am just highlighting the outer parts of the strawberry. Now the reason behind this is the, the really shiny or realistic strawberry reflects the light. So in uh, my artwork or in my drawing, the light is kind of hitting the strawberry from both the sides as you can see in the video. I hope that makes sense. And don't worry about the harshness of the highlight that we just put in for now and create a new layer and create clipping mask and start making the seeds of the strawberries. So for that I'm using white color and I'm just making seeds over the strawberry.
Now go back to your initial base layer in Alpha Locket and start adding dark shades of the red. So I am taking a darker shade of the red and I am obviously shading the upper part of it just to give it some depth. And I'm also, you know, giving some depth and dent like structure to my strawberry just to make it look more realistic. Because if you look a strawberry, it has few dents in it. So yeah. Now alpha lock the layer where, you, where we created the C's and now you want a black color in a smaller sized brush. Now I'm again using soft airbrush. You can use whatever brush you want. And now what I'm basically doing is I'm kind of like outlining the whole white colored seed. Now what you want to do is you want to create a new layer just above the initial base layer and create clipping mask and take a darker version of the red. And now what you want to do is just uh, decrease the opacity of the brush and decrease the size of it just a little bit and just create some depth around the seeds that we created. I hope you can see the video what I'm doing. I'm just creating some depth around the seeds but the opacity of the brush is a bit low. Now just create a new layer and create clipping mask on it once again and just pick up a really bright red color or bright version of the color that you use to make the strawberry and just paint it over the highest points of it. Now what I'm doing is I'm picking up black color and I'm just adding that black color on the very top of the strawberry just to give the strawberry a bit more of depth that we are looking for so darker version of the color that you were using is not enough to give depth if you are looking to create a realistic strawberry so black color 
use black color really light-handed and just add some depth now I'm doing the same thing with the leaves that I created and I'm just taking a dark green color and I'm adding that color on the base of the leaves to give the leaves more depth again I all I'm also using black color because I just think it just make the whole thing look so realistic and gives so much depth now just create a new layer and create clipping mask on it and pick up white color pure white color and make sure that the opacity of your brush is at you know it's minimum not too high not too low and then just ha start highlighting around the seeds as i am doing in the video so either you can exactly copy what i'm doing how i'm highlighting the strawberry or you can do your own version so basically what you have to do is you have to highlight the most the highest point of the strawberry and then just start adding mini highlights around the seeds as i'm doing in the video Now I am going back in and adding more depth to the lace because I think they need it and I'm just kind of outlining them with a smaller sized brush but with a darker color. I'm going back in with on the layer where we created the base of the strawberry and I'm just adding more depth to my strawberry using the black color again as you can see it just brings out the strawberry a lot more 
so the idea behind all this is when you are almost done with your strawberry you can really see where you need to add more depth and where you need to add more highlights so to speak so at this point i am actually done with it i am just retouching the things that i think needs some more attention just to bring that realism out So that's it you guys i do have a video on how to draw realistic strawberry on my channel and i will link it down below and i did it on paper and this time i decided to do it digitally and so that i can you know show you guys how you can also create realistic strawberry on your ipad so i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys the next time